Okay, I want to take a look at some new functions here in Excel to do with text. There is text split, text join, text before and text after. And in this video, I'm going to do text split. And I've got some things here to have a look at as well to show you in a bit more detail. In the next video, I've got text join and then I've got text before and text after in another video. So text join is interesting because it kind of replaces the concatenate. It's still there and it just has some other features about it. Text before and text after is also very useful with the text splitting as well because you can get to choose text before a particular delimiter or after. So first up, let's just take a look at text split. And as I said, come back to the others and I'll put links below this video. So I've got some uh, cartoon characters here and I want to split them into first name and last name. And I've got other videos to show you how to do that, but they've kind of made this a little bit easier. And this works whether you're using Windows or a Mac, I'm using it on Windows here. And it just looks a little bit different when you click on insert function. And I'm going to do that now. And I'm just going to, I could go into my text functions here. I could scroll down to find text split or I could search for it. So there it is. If I wanted to search for it, I can just type it in over here, text split. Press go, there it is, click OK, and you've got a few options in here. Now, two that you do have to fill out are the text, which is going to be this cell here, and the column delimiter. So that's what it's going to do. It's going to put it into two separate columns based on whatever the delimiter is, and that can be pretty much anything you like. In this case, it is the space, which is the space between their names, but it could be punctuation such as a comma, hyphen, and so on. It could even be a letter if you like. Now the row delimiter you would put in, and I'm going to show you this in a moment, if you wanted to have it go down. So you would take say Donald Duck and then you instead of going across you would have it go down into two separate rows. But we're not going to do that. What to do if there is an empty space there? Well it's going to default to false so that is going to ignore any blank cells, any empty cells. I'll show you what I mean by the empty cells in a moment. But if I was to put in true, it wouldn't. So I'm going to show you what happens for that. Match mode is if it, you want it to be case sensitive. It's a case sensitive match. Now clearly if it's a space, there is no case sensitive sensitivity. So I'm not going to enter anything in there, but I could if I wanted to such as true or false again. So let's just click on OK. Now, just note, I've put this into one cell. Click on OK, and it automatically puts it across into two. Now look what happens when I click on it. If I click on there, there's the formula. If I click here, and you can see there's a little bit of an outline, it's kind of greyed out here. So let's not do anything with that. So it's kind of like almost like a phantom over there. So let, let's just do that. Now, I put in true in case there are blank spaces. So let's see what happens if I put in a space here with Donald Duck. And it doesn't do anything. It is ignoring the fact that there is a blank because I put in true over here. Let's change this to false. So there are two spaces. So it's kind of thinking there's an extra delimiter in there with nothing in between. So let me just take that out over here. So let me just copy that. And there we go. So let's put all of those in. Just to show you if I had two more spaces, each one of them would be seen as a delimiter. So I'm going to just undo that. Okay, so that is text split. Now, I did mention about going across and down. And for that, I've got this as an example to show you. So I've got this A, B, C, D, E, F. You can see that there are commas. 
And then there is a semicolon, and that semicolon is another delimiter, which I'm using as my row delimiter. So the ABC goes on one line and the DEF goes on another. So let's just take a look at that. Let's go into my text split. There it is again. And this is the text. My column delimiter is the comma. My row delimiter is the semicolon. Ignore if empty. Um, let's say it's true. I do want to ignore it if it's empty. The match mode. I'm not worried about the case sensitivity. There's one other thing down here. Pad width. I'm just going to type in Actually, I'm not going to do anything there. We're going to come back to that and let's click on OK. There you go. It's pushed it into two rows. Now, what if it's seeing a pattern here, A, B, C, one, two, three, and then another three. Let me just get rid of this F and also the comma there and press enter. And you see it comes up with an A. But let's fix that because that's what that padding was for. If I click on there, scroll down to pad width, I can actually have it come up with some specific text. So I'm going to type in nothing. And instead of showing NA, it shows something there instead. So that is what that is doing. Now you could just have a row delimiter, no column delimiters in there. Let's use the same one again. So there is the text for this one. Let's do that. There's the column delimiter. We don't want that. The row delimiter is the comma. Let, let's just press OK because we know all the other things and you can go away and try that. So that's how you can split it so it goes into columns like that. But let's have a look at blanks here, what it does if there's a blank. And let's just try this out. You can see I've got a sample there already, but let's put it in. So let's do my text split again. So you can see there's a blank where you probably realize it should have been a B. Let's do that. The column delimiter is the comma and ignore if empty. Well, let's leave it as false, which is the um, default here. Let's click on OK and you'll see it has this blank. It's kept the blank in there. If I didn't want to do that, let's do that again. I can go text split, choose that. The column delimiter is the comma, ignore if empty, true, and let's click on OK. And this time you can see it's taken out the blank. I can easily change that to false or remove it, and it goes to the other one. Let's just undo that. So there we have it. That is your text split. If you want to know more about the text join, come back to the next video. The link is below. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more.